Hello there and welcome to another Java tutorial. So uh, in this video we're gonna learn how we can take user inputs in Java. So we have learned how to take, uh, how to give outputs, how to print uh, mm, whatever you want and how to give outputs. But in this video we're gonna learn how to take inputs from the user so that they can enter some value and we can then process that and it, then we can uh, show the results. So in order to create uh, uh, an input, uh, in order to take input, uh, we have different options. We either can use a buffer stream class or input stream class and other than that we have a scanner class. So using that scanner we can uh, take inputs and it is very easy to do that. So in order to do that, first of all we have to create an object of the scanner class. Now. In order to create an object of a scanner class, first of all, we have to write the name of the class that is scanner. Then we have to write the name of the uh, name of the object that you want to create. Let's name it SC. So we have created an object of the scanner class named SC. Now the proper way of creating an object is to write uh, an equal sign and then write new and the class name that is scanner. So in order to create an object of a class. Uh, uh, now remember we will learn more about objects and classes later but we have to do this here so that is why I'm explaining a bit so in order to create an object of scanner class first of all we have to write the name of the class then the name of the object and after the equal sign we have to write the keyword new and then again we have to write the class name and then uh, a pair of parentheses so what this will do is this will create a new scanner class and uh, I mean new scanner object and then we will put that object inside this and don't forget to put a semicolon here now inside this parentheses we have to put system dot in okay uh, as I have told you guys before that system.out which we used in the last video system.out creates an object of the print stream class to take outputs the same way system.in creates a object of print stream class to take uh, of input stream class to take input okay so inside scanner we have to uh, we have to put that system dot in so that it can understand that we are passing uh, input stream object inside it so that it can take input so uh, you don't have to uh, bog yourself with all this uh, you just have to write this now remember whenever you write this for the very first time what happens is you will get some errors here because whenever we create something new in Java we have to import it from the package so every class belongs to a specific packages so this scanner class also belongs to a package and we have to import that package so all you have to do is just keep your cursor uh, on the top of the scanner so whenever we put your cursor on the top of the scanner what happens is you get a lot of options from here the first option is import scanner from java.util so you go and click that so what will happen is it will import the Java scanner as you can see it has imported it from here and now the error has gone alternatively you can also press Control shift O to print uh, to import everything so this is how we create a scanner now in order to put uh, a value after taking input we have to create a variable suppose we wanna take input of a integer variable so I'm making an integer variable int a and inside this I want to put the value that we are getting from the uh, from the user by input so in order to take an input we have to write the name of the object that we have created so here we have created sc object of the scanner class so we have to write sc then we have to write a dot that is we are calling a method of scanner class and in order to take inputs of different data types we have different methods as an example to take input of an integer we have to write next int now make sure to capitalize it properly okay make sure to capitalize properly as I have done so what next in does is it takes input of an integer so if we want to take an input of a float what you do is sc dot 
it's getting slow I don't know why my computer getting freeze okay so next float okay so whenever you wanna uh, take an input of a float you just put next float first of all let me go delete and uh, test it here so we are getting uh, we are taking input and integer here so let's go and run this program now so whenever you run this program here you have an option to input something so if I write 5 and press enter 5 is getting input in the program but the problem is we are not getting any output since we have not written any uh, any we have not written any statements in our program to output this so let's go and output this value so that we can see whatever we are entering so write let's write system dot out dot println and inside that we have to write you entered that is whatever the user have entered and then after the closing of this uh, after the closing of the double quotation marks just put a plus sign and then write the a okay oops I have a problem here yes. so what this will do is this will convert a into a string we know that a is an integer so this plus will convert the a into an convert the value of the a into an into a string and then it will add the string to you entered so we'll get a complete sentence you entered and the number that has been entered so let's go and run it now so if I run it here I am getting an option to input something so let's input 56 let's press enter and it is uh, saying you entered 56 so what is happening is we are just giving an input from the keyboard and that is getting stored inside a and in the next line we are printing the value of a now let's go and check it out with some other data types let's say we wanna we wanna print an uh, character for the say for say so we wanna say sc dot next care or I'm making some mistakes sc dot I think oh, let's just do float so I want to say next float so what this will do is uh, this will just I don't know why it's it getting some error here oh I have to change the data type here so let's change it to float otherwise you cannot take the uh, float input so what this will do this will take input of a float and store it inside here and then it will uh, concatenate it with this string so let's go and run it now so here is an option let's here write 5.65 so that is an uh, that is a float so if I press enter as you can see that it says you enter 5.65 now we have this next method for all the data types so that we can take input of all the data types so this was the very basics of how to take input in Java and also how to import a package and also how to um, print something other than string using system.out.println so I hope you guys learned and enjoyed this video so please subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button and if you have any questions just write those in comments and I will see you in the next video so goodbye